What's up, gang? This is Matt from Matty Moe's Arcade. Uh, if you guys could please stick around to the end of the video, I got some really cool stuff I want to share with you, and I really need your help on something. But let's get to this. I want to admit that I've seen you guys asking a lot of questions, or the same question over and over again. And admittedly, I've given you the answer every time and given it to you quickly, but I never really explained how I figured it out. So I'm not the only one that knows, and we've all kind of done the same thing. So basically what it boils down to is, how the hell do we read this number? What does it mean? And how do we figure out what monitor we have from it? So he's like thinking of a way out of it, and then he's like, no, I'll go get it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta check out this guy. Mm, Matimo. You know, Matimo's arcade. I don't know enough about his, his methods. I would love to talk to him one day. This is the monitor I was working on last week, and here is the numbers and the tag that we need to find here. And you'll see it'll start with a WG, have a certain set of numbers, a dash, and then some more numbers. So we don't really need any of this. There is some uh, good information on here, but for the most part, we don't need this. All we need is this first part right here. So let's take this over to a sheet of paper, and I'll explain to you how to decipher it. So our numbers are, or numbers and letters, WGM2575. So all of these are fairly important to what we're looking for. And this may or may not be obvious, but WG is Wells Gardner. And these are their manufacturer tags and their, their uh, product numbers. So this only really works for Wells Gardner monitors, but it'll kind of give you an idea of how everybody else does it. Um, the next thing is this M. It is so super complicated that it will just probably skip that one. Um, you don't technically need to know it for what we're doing, but just so you know, uh, the M stands for monitor, and it's just so complicated. I don't, I don't, I don't want to get into that one. Our next thing that we want to look at here is 25. 25 is the size of the monitor. So it could be 19, it could be 25, it could be 27. Those are going to be the most common ones. Um, so you'll know right away just from this number exactly what monitor it is. So you don't have to measure it. 25, 27 is pretty close. And then the last thing is the 75. And this one right here is our identifier. This is the one that we really need to know. Um, the 75 is going to be the 7500. So that may seem, seem pretty simple, 75, 7,500. Let's go over what the other numbers are because they're not always as simple. So we're just going to continue to go over the common ones first, and then after that we'll go over the, uh, the little bit more obscure. The 20 and the 30, and remember these are the last two numbers of the code, are going to be the U2000 and the U3000. Not super common monitors, but you do see a lot of the U2000s. All right, so here we have 50, 70, 74, and 75. All of these are pretty common. The 50 is going to be the U5000. I wonder, you're going to see a hell of a lot more than you see a U3000. Um, the 70 is probably going to be the most common. That's the K7000. Now, you might start to see a pattern here. Usually, those last two are going to be right there in the first two of the number. 74 is the 7400, and 75, which we've already done, is the 7500. If you've made it to these numbers here, you have a few more problems other than identifying the chassis. But the 92 is going to be the D9200, 94, D9400, I'm sure you can see the pattern by now, 98 is the D9800. Now, those are the common monitors, and here are some other ones that I know. I'm sure there's probably other ones that I don't know, and some of these I run into, some of them I don't. Like I see the uh, K7200s, uh, those were in a lot of the newest um, poker machines that had CRTs. Both of these were here, and I'm not sure if that's a K8000 or if that's a D8000, uh, but I see those uh, occasionally. 
and uh, 91, 9300, not so much. But you can see, you got 31, 31, 72, 72, 73, 73. It literally goes like that. So it's not that hard. Once you know it's the last two uh, numbers of your digit or your code are going to tell you which monitor it's going to be, it makes it a lot easier. And then the two right before it are just going to be the size. Stick around. Let me uh, show you guys what I have going on here. Some of you may know, some of you may not know. I have my website is up. Uh, I do have parts for sale on there. I have started the blog where I'm um, currently going over everything and anything about the K7000. I'm going to start there and move on. I've, I've kind of started piecing together some other monitors, but I decided I want to go all the way through the K7000 and then I'll move on to the next monitor. And then I'll come back and just add little things. But uh, I did label my cap kits here so that you don't have to dig around in a big pile of capacitors. Everything has the, oh, wrong way here, it has the location and the value. So even if the caps fall out, you know which one goes where. And uh, those will all be in here. And I made up other kits for like, uh, K7000 and high voltage shutdown, a K7000 with collapse, uh, stuff like that. So it'll have kind of like a picture of what the monitor looks like and then a kit underneath it to fix that. And of course, you know, your basic cap kit will be just for your troubleshooting and, or your shotgun method and stuff like that. So it's going to kind of be like a uh, McDonald's value menu. Is this what you want? Here it is. Is this your problem? Number two. Is this your problem? Number three. And then you can supersize it. If your monitor is blowing fuses, then you just supersize it. You'll get extra fuses and extra hots. <laughs> but next, I want to talk to you guys. I really, really need your help with this. So uh, let me just show you a couple pictures real fast. I'm Walter Day, the father of esports, and you're watching Maddie Moe's Arcade. What's up? This is Tony Hawk. I've teamed up with Colossal to offer a unique skateboard competition for all skill sets. The winner will receive a trip to San Diego, a skate session with me, and $10,000 to take home in cash. So let's make this the biggest online skateboard competition ever. So here's some pictures, uh, kind of like my little journey through this thing so far. Uh, if you know me personally or you uh, are friends with me on Facebook, you've probably seen some of this. There was like uh, 125 people in each category or in each uh, group, and I made it down from the original group of 125 in my group anyway. I think there was four or five groups, and I'm now in fifth place of my group, and the next cutoff is going to be Thursday the 22nd. And uh, I have to be in first place, and then it's going to be the finals for uh, the entire competition. But we get to the winner, gets to skate with Tony Hawk, which is pretty sweet, and he went 10 grand. So I am super, super close. I'm going to have the link in the description. If you guys could vote for me, I would super appreciate it. Um, not only is it cool to meet Tony Hawk, this is life-changing money for me even after taxes so I just imagine what we could do with that in the budget for the channel not to mention this is going to be some pretty good uh, content as well so please please I'm begging you guys <laughs> I have enough followers between YouTube and TikTok I should be able to come up from fifth place to first place and uh, after that the uh, votes do restart and then we are in the finals for everybody Everybody who get, takes number one will go into one finals group, and everybody that takes number two will go into another finals group, and then we'll battle it out into the final, final two spots, into the final spot, and then I'll get to go and meet Tony out in San Diego. But please vote for me. I would super appreciate it, and uh, I don't know if I could do something for each one of you. I definitely would because I, I super want to win this, and I should be able to pull it off, but... You know how it is getting a call to action, especially this late into a, a video that's almost over. But thanks. I'll keep you guys informed anyway. And you can vote every single day. And if you uh, donate money, you get a vote for every dollar you donate. And say they do uh, double votes sometimes too. But I super appreciate it. Love you guys. And make sure you go check out the website. And there's going to be a 10% off discount for anyone who sees this video because uh, you at least heard me talk about this, so I can give you a 10% discount, 
and down here at the bottom right here is going to be the code to enter all right thanks we'll see you guys so these two right here are going to be ground and five volt so what do we get here did i not turn the game on i didn't turn the game on i guess that would help Hang on. here it is a nice little trade person I traded got what they wanted, I got what I wanted, and a pretty good deal on it too. What if I didn't get what I want? <laughs> <laughs> that comes later. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's on fire. What happened? Whoa. Lots of smoke. Well, that's bad. Yeah, well, thanks for watching. <laughs> when you take care of people, people take care of you in this community. That's the truth. So everyone, please remember that. Even if we're competitors, we're not enemies.